Alright, welcome back, Odooers. Now, because Odoo integrates operations between apps, we can manage sales production and product deliveries without any discrepancies in the business flow. Now, to make our lives even easier, we can set up automatic actions in Odoo triggered right when a customer buys a product. Now, these actions can create purchase orders, for example, for when raw materials might run out during the manufacturing process. At the same time, manufacturing operations are automatically generated, which instruct my employees which products they need to make as demand is generated, or when materials arrive. Now this helps save time, and your employees won't stand around like Steve waiting for missing materials when manufacturing has already begun. So get up, Steve. It'll take some setup, but automation is worth it. Alright, Odoo bots, roll out. Okay, doers, we're now in our database, starting in the manufacturing app. Now the first thing we need is a bill of materials for the product we're manufacturing. So we're gonna go up here to products, bill of materials. And we're working with the newest product, which is our Optimus Prime toy. Now, selecting it inside, I actually want to check something else up. So this is the product's bill of materials, but let's go into the product form using the internal link right there. And we're going to make our way over to the inventory tab. Now, I want to check over here in this operations area. We need to check to make sure and specify that we want to manufacture this product. So make sure that this little checkbox is checked. Now, this lets Odoo know that we make this transformer in-house. And since we're not reselling a product that someone else made, we'll leave the buy unchecked. If it was the reverse, then obviously go that way. Everything looks good, so let's go back to the prime toy bomb using bread breadcrumbs today. It's just bread. Now, I also want to automate my purchase order so that we don't run out of components. Now, remember, to do that, I need to set up reordering rules. So, I'm going to select the blue block, internal link. I love these. We just jump around. All right, now I need to make sure that the buy route is selected. So we're going over here. Perfect, we're already there. Now we need that since we'll be purchasing this item from a vendor. Then under the purchase tab, need to make sure that we have a vendor because that's how Odoo knows who to buy from when I'm out of stock. So it looks good. So I need to configure some reordering rules to decide how many items need to be ordered. So let's click on the smart button right here that says reordering rules. Perfect. We don't have one, so we'll create one. We'll set our minimum to 10, max to 30. It's all I can afford right now. And once that we're done, everything is all set up. Perfect. All right, now let's go back to the product again. So in our case, we're going back to the prime toy via bread breadcrumbs. Now, I already configured reordering rules for the rest of the distinguished gentleman's components. So we're all set there. Let's start this flow, oh doers. All right, oh doers. So up first, we're actually going to go immediately into the sales application. Got to create a new one up here and our customer. Let's say that we have a customer named Sam. Sam Woodwicky over here. And they've broken their prime toy and they need a new one. So we're going to help them out and confirm this real quick. Now you'll notice that once we did that, we've created a sales order and we also have a delivery now. If we select the delivery, you'll see that right now there's something bad that's happened. Now, if you couldn't tell by the red not available icon next to the product availability, this product isn't in stock right now, but let's see what happens when we try to validate it anyways. Oh no, user error. Oh doopsies, we don't have the product in stock as I just said. Now that's because we need to manufacture this item, which is why the delivery is in the waiting stage. Now since my components must be bought though, I need to create a purchase order, which starts with an RFQ. Now I could manually create a request for quotation in the purchase app, but I want to eliminate that extra step. So let's automate it. So to automate RFQ creation, I need to go to the inventory application. So we're going to go out of here. Invo oh, oh, doopsie right there. Inventory. All right, beautiful. Now that we're inside of here from the inventory app, I'll select operations and replenishment. Now here I have an overview of all of the replenishments that need processing. I'm going to click on the automate orders for my prime toy, which will do two things. First thing, it'll generate an RFQ for the components since we set up reordering rules for the components. Second, it'll create a manufacturing order for the final product. More specifically, clicking this button will create a zero minimum, zero maximum reordering rule for the final product, which will generate a corresponding MO or manufacturing order every time a sales order is created with this product on it. Now, going over again back over here to the purchase app, I can see that Oh, look at that. We have a new RFQ created. And as you can tell, 
this is containing all of the items that I need to manufacture. So let's click in there, oh doers. Perfect. Boom. Now, as you could tell, this RFQ contains, because I set the maximum of the blue block to 30, it's accounting that I will need 10 blue blocks in order to make the prime toy that was just ordered, because math. Now, in our case, I'm going to confirm this. Now it's a purchase order, and then I will receive the products, and then we'll validate this immediately. Boom, and everything is done, and Odoo tells me that I received all the items that I ordered from this vendor. Now the product needs to be manufactured, so we're gonna go back out of here. Manufacturing, and where do we go, Odooers? Well, if we go up to our operations manufacturing orders, we'll see that an MO has been automatically created for my Prime toy, and it's ready to go. Ah, next, we need to build this toy, so let's go over to work orders. And what do we do, Odooers? Well, we're going to basically start this and immediately pretty much say it's done. And what do we do, doers? We're going to click done now and finally mark this as done. Boom. We're done. Now, the very last step is to deliver the finished Optimus Prime to our patient customer. So we're going to now go back out of here again over to inventory. And where do we go in here, doers? We're going to go to our delivery orders Kanban card. And in our case, if we click on that, want to process, boom. Let's give this a better view. Boom. And there it is. Now here we can see that the stage has changed from waiting to ready. So we'll go ahead and validate that. Apply. Boom. We've shipped something out. The toy's out the door. Now with this setup, we're ready to receive orders without being afraid of running out of component stock. And we can save time by automating document creation. And with that, that concludes this tutorial. Now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Go grab a snack.